All right, howdy cowdies. It's weekly walkabout time at the collector. It's not the fourth time I've done this with bloody battery, bloody and other cameras going. I'm using BJ's good camera. It's probably going to blow up on me. Anyway, 1965 grand final footy record. 1934 MCC medallion, 35 medallion. Vacuum oil enameled badge. Another MCC medallion, SO celluloid badge. Moorcroft, Lalique, Lalique. And also we got gold, little Egyptian pendant there, and another nice little necklace with the blue stone. More nice gold, high silver content Australian coins. These are all motoring sort of badges and medallions. Don't know if you can see this very good. From what I can see, it's pretty blurry, but it's going to have to do. Ladies Amiga watch. These are wartime MCC medallions, tumbled amber. This is a nice Italian bayonet. Olympic badges over the back there in the packets with their cardboard backing which you don't see. Nice little bit of Balik also. Silver, more MCC medallions, Murray's chocolates, Sunday Best Australian tobacco tin, RACV uh, badge and the radiator cap, ivory, silver, aeroplanes, more ivory down the back, nice little silver mounted, horn beaker. Heaps of nice stuff in the jewellery cabinet. Alright, nice big gilt frame mirror. Looks to be a John Fallon frame with the oak leaf and acorns. This is a really nice little slate mantel clock there with the sphinx on top. Kind of like the little cupboard also. A little eastern uh, display cabinet and another nice little retro display cabinet. Leslie die casts, more sort of jewellery, freshwater pearls. There's some sort of Chinese propaganda badges, pottery. Some great Mornington Peninsula footy league stuff in here. Hastings footy club. Premiership pennant, I think, from like 1965 or something. Cigarette cases and gear. Olympic eph ephemera. Some nice ladies' watches. More die casts, scales. Some good ladies' shoes and bag little sets. Boots and a matching bag and little shoes there with the Diamante bows. Interesting magazines, depending on what you're interested in. Some clothing. Heaps of records this week. Boxes of records. Heaps of books as well. Alright. Interesting little lot of pottery. Nice old ammo crate with some other blokey gear. Some ladies clothing and accessories in that lot. Heaps more records. Books. Sailor dolls and bears and stuff. Heaps of gear down the back. The big candy bar, milk bar sign's pretty cool. Ashburton's Sweetheart, Ideal Dairy, The Candy Bar, cool big thing. What else have we got? Motorbike gear, more records, Talking Heads in Amongst That. It's a bloody good album, that. Uh, there's a tennis ball thrower that does work, but doesn't throw them very hard, unfortunately. <laughs> Would have broken half the stock this week if it did. More books, heaps of train stuff this week. That's a nice big box full of it there. Big box full of train books. CDs and stuff. Nice big open seven days a week sign there with some other bits. Tony Hawk Freestyle BMX. Well, I don't know how often he rode a BMX. Uh, big boxes of mixed items. Playboy and a packet of cards. Good quality English china. Australian and other pottery. Barrels, costume jewellery. Victoriana. Toys. And if we got more records, more die casts and toys. Bit of bony M. More train gear, all HO gauge it looks to be. Nice little Anne Hole pastel there. Reminds me a little bit of a John Percival. Good little John Riddell oil there, looks to be Collins Street. What else have we got? Uh, Stephen Deutscher, sort of typical of his work. Really like the Kenneth Jack woodcut there. Royal Terrace Fitzroy, built in 1854. Part of the old Melbourne building series he did. This is nice, the Warren Partington. He does, we sold a bunch of his surfboards last week. Pretty cool little painting there of the three cats. Nice big lot of pubanalia. Some interesting books. True story of the Kelly Gang. Some more nice paintings, actually. This is Alfred Collins. Can't find anything out about him, but he can paint. Kind of like the little kookaburra down in the bottom right-hand corner. What's behind it? Ah, that's a bloody good bit. Robert uh, Juniper etching. Garden vignette. Signed and dated 08. A little bit. Don't see his stuff floating around every day. Alright, what else have we got? Signed footies. 
You've got a big Spanish bull we've put with some boxed Barbie doll, Twilight and Octopussy, James Bond stuff. Big lot of Oriental gear. Some glass, Bakelite, box car sets, more Oriental. Pretty cool old set of roller skates made by Seiko. Doc Martin boots there with the floral all over floral are pretty cool. Some box die casts, some interesting ephemera. Camera gear, a little lot of the watercolour there with some bits of china. EP and S. Cars. Big one over the backs of Jim Beam decanter. A little lot of a little bit of original oak from the HMS Victory. Some other bits of sort of blokey gear compass and stuff in that lot. A little coffee machines cute, some sort of cereal toys and other stuff. A little Japanese pot there with some little sort of funny little jade stands in it. Some modern china or quite nice wade, more Japanese, more HO gauge train gear, more HO gauge train gear. Nice big lot of cutlery. Uh, Scandinavian glass, box lot, some big armed forces, uh, 16 inch records, blue and white, other china, nice lot of pottery, Bernard Zappiel, Heather Briggs, Ryan Tanton, Wedgwood, Wade, Nursery, Cloissonne, a little lot of Dalton English, all the crystal as well, another big lot of Australian and other pottery. What else have we got? Tins, matchboxes, Tonto. A little tin toy car, great little Netta Bindi doll over the back with its original little cardboard boomerang. Thick rail trains and a carriage, cars, HO gauge sort of signals and stuff. Smoking and blokey gear, more nice HO gauge stuff. Little Mattel Mebel toys, Mebel toys, little boxed car, blokey gear, nursery china, more train stuff. Little box of goodies, more train stuff. More train stuff. Little Nora Welling style doll there we've put with some other ones. And to the end cabinet, more train gear, coin sets, all the uh, Biarritz China, lovely big Susie Cooper set, Carltonware, and I think Spode or something like that. Have a lot of blue and white and other English. All the nice other Carltonware and Shorter and Son. Australian art glass, Torquay wear, good quality binoculars. Nice little lot of Italian and other glass sort of swizzle sticks and things. HO gauge again. Uh, Nao Ladro figures. Big pair of, uh, I think they might be Furstenberg over the back, might be wrong. Wedgwood. Looks like Stuart Crystal. Good little bits there of Shorter and Son. Some great pin-up girl calendars, original ones. This is an original signed WEG caricature of Kevin Murray, which is signed by Kevin Murray as well. Signed by WEG and dated 2005. More coin collection. Lovely little pastel of a cowboy. Signed and dated, I think, 1927 or something. Uh, more deco, beer rips and other stuff. Dalton, art glass. Royal Crown Derby. Royal Worcester over the back there from the 1970s. Courage board's nice. For carriers of Brisbane and suburbs maps. Pretty interesting thing. Dalton, Goebbels, Winton. Nice little bit of German. The Darjeeling tea tins, lovely. Moorcroft, nice. Uh, Enfield Bakelite clock, the old Bex box is cool, lovely bits of Shelley, nice bits of Dalton, mailing wear, boxed Hornby train, what else have we got, Wembley wear pockets, Sylvia Halpern, Japanese, the French vase is nice, I really like it with a bit of a Chinese influence, uh, Murano, this is about sort of 1780, the little bowl and saucer, Gunda, Carlton wear, Little Regis cat over the back, which is a collaboration of Gus McLaren and um, Reg Preston. Who made the big American glass bowl? Cambridge. Cambridge. There you go. It's got a scene of Indians chasing buffaloes. What else have we got? Claris Cliff cup and saucer. Fantastic. There is a little chip, I think, we did notice out of the cup, which is a bit of a bummer. Lovely deco lamps. John Barbicorn. Nice Hornby box train as well. There you go, that'll do. The camera's about to run out. <laughs> Hopefully you saw something you liked. Don't really care if you did or if you didn't. We'll see you guys on Thursday night. Be another good night.